Hi, it's Mike VA3MW. And one of the great powers of a flex radio is to be able to see what's really going on in the band. And today is no exception. Uh, to, it's June, or sorry, it's July. Six meters is open. I'm in Toronto. I have a three element beam and it's pointed towards Europe. And if we look uh, here at the um, at Smart SDR, you'll see right here we have a fair bit of band opening stuff with 5313 we've got all this stuff at 5323 which is the dx window we've got all this stuff and even at halfway in between and i haven't looked at it yet we have um ft4 stuff so that's pretty cool too and the real issue though is how do i really get uh um two copies of wsjt going or two copies of um uh, JTTX, which is what I use, or two copies of anything going when you've got a radio that's got this power and this, uh, no pun intended, flexibility. So you can see I have on slice A here, uh, the uh, and you're going to need a big screen if you want to watch to do this and really get it nice. But uh, So try not to watch this on a phone or a tablet. It's really not going to work for you. But uh, if we look here, we have uh, JTTX uh, A. It's, it's slice A. This is my 5313 stuff that's coming through. Uh, we have, uh, oh, I can draw, so let's undraw that. Um, we have, uh, go down to the bottom here, we have um, another case of 5323. Double click on that and we'll zoom in and we'll see stuff coming in from all over the place. Now, as usual, at least for me, the East Coast guys are working more of it than I am. But, you know, that happens and that's cool. And then we have two slices open. So let's spend a bit of time setting this up. Uh, first off, with the flex radio and the multiple slices, we have two VFOs open on the same pan adapter. And the you could do this on any radio because we're using the same antenna. We're using a flex, uh, you could do this on a 6300, 64, 65, 66. You'll notice that we're on uh, antenna 2 and antenna 2, antenna and 2. So this is great. We're sharing a common 6 meter antenna. And uh, in DAX here, uh, let's see, I'll have to get out of this view for a moment, so bear with me. Uh, in DAX, we have this DAX audio channel. Let's pull that over a bit to channel one and this DAX audio channel to channel two. And uh, why is that? Let me zoom back in. Uh, we have that so that the audio goes from this VFO frequency to this channel and from this VFO frequency to that channel. And generally you, you do A to 1 and slice B to 2, but it doesn't really matter. It's, you know, they can be different, but if you just keep it that way, it's easy to understand. And if we look here at uh, DAX itself, you'll see that we have uh, audio on slice A channel 1, slice B channel 2. Keep that in mind uh, moving forward. So how did I get both of these going at the same time? Because, you know, you probably read the directions and it's a it's a pain in the butt to do if you could figure it out. But you have to do funky keyboard shortcut, not keyboard shortcuts, but parameter switches. Well, we did it with uh, using Slice Master. And here these tabs are, uh, here's Slice A. Uh, and um, let me just... Uh, pull down a bit. I just got to get her to my editor. And I said I'm using JTDX. Uh, we'll zoom in here and you'll see that uh, we have uh, slice A on this tab, which is A, and that, that slice A means the same slice here at the top. And it's pressed in, so that's how that got started. Started pretty much automatically. And then if we go to slice B here, it's the same thing, uh, almost, and uh, this is the thing you want to check, that it went to slice B. Again, slice B down here, and um, that's how we got both channels running. So great, now I can see, uh, I'm going to shrink this because we don't need it anymore, uh, a couple of cool things that... Um, Let's uh, we'll shrink this down and just clean things up. And I don't need all that. Did you know you can click here on the A and B and hide the flag information just to clean up your display? Uh, and so there, there's my operational screen. Now we'll see that we're seeing uh, the spots show up um, 
here in uh, in slice B and where they're coming from or whatever. Uh, why aren't they in the same place on A, which is a mode to active? Well, I'm using that one. It's actually a different setup, so I don't want to confuse you. But I'm actually sending that data to slice uh, to a grid tracker. But uh, that's for a whole other discussion. And the beauty of this is, if uh, if I double click and say I want to work uh, somebody in uh, on the top slice, I just have to double click on them and go into transmit. And just to show you how that works, not to totally interfere with anything, if I hit tune here, you'll see that I have RF power out, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, there's my level. You want to keep that down, so that works. And if I just go over here and hit tune here, the same thing happens. I get uh, RF out on the top band. And we'll just turn that off really quick. And uh, and so it makes it incredibly automatic. Now, here's the cool thing. We've got this FT4 stuff going on here. So because I have a 6600, uh, we can uh, bring up a third slice. So let's add a third receiver. And again, you'll really need this on a, um, a widescreen to watch. So there's a third receiver. Um, what is the, uh, F I don't know the FT4 frequency. We'll, we'll just slide it up here uh type of thing it's probably about uh is it 317 anyway and then how do i get the third slice going well i'm going to bring up uh, slice master again i'm going to go to slice c so now c's highlighted here i'm going to scroll down to j i'm going to use jtdx and it's already set to slice c and i'm going to hit start like that and it will spin it up on its own Hopefully. Oh, you know why it didn't work? Because we didn't assign it a channel. Third channel. Check DAX. Turn it on way over here. And uh, we'll wait for uh, it to start. So again, we'll take just to clean up the window. We'll get rid of this. I'm going to change my mode to FT4. And... Um, I'm going to get rid of the wide graph because I really don't need it. And uh, let's see if we, uh, we've we got audio here. Let's see if we decode anybody. Of course, look at that. Signals disappeared. Uh, there's nobody on FT4 at this point in time. But that's how you would do a third slice. A lot of information I provided in a hurry. Uh, we are uh, now running three slices. If we wanted to, we could just move this guy over. And we'll wait to see what we copy on uh, that FT4 frequency. And if the band's good enough, you can work those guys in a bigger hurry uh, as well. So that's, uh, that's our fun today on using WSJTX or JTDX mo monitoring multiple frequencies at the same time uh, and uh, seeing what we copy and make sure we're all set here. We're in DigiU. Uh, DAX is set channel 3 and we've got audio down there so that is uh, all good to go as of course no channel showed up or no no QSO showed up for that moment 73 everybody uh, just a teaser to get you thinking on what you can do with your radio on a big 6 meter opening take care